An open letter signed by 85 groups from this country and all around the world is planning Ottawa's planned policy of detaining migrants in federal prisons. They're calling it dangerous and a violation of human rights. The policy announced in the 2024 federal budget comes after all 10 Canadian provinces said they would no longer detain migrants in provincial jails. Joining us this morning from Ottawa is one of the signatories of the open letter, former Foreign Affairs Minister of Canada, Lloyd Axworthy, and Chair of the World Refugee and Migration Council. Good morning to you. Oh, good morning, Lindsay. What specific concerns do you and your peers have about the idea of detaining people in federal facilities? Well, it has a huge impact on the people themselves. These are people who are arriving, uh, at, who have been prosecuted, have faced trauma, have faced violations, uh, abuse. They're coming to Canada for sanctuary, and all of a sudden, uh, somebody at the border agency determines that they have to be put in a jail. And uh, now uh, that the provinces have recognized that that's an abrogation of rights, uh, the federal government, and us, I think only a perverse decision decided that they could now be incarcerated in federal penitentiaries. So we're saying, what is going on here? It's such a terrible transgression, I think, of Canada's reputation as a defender of the rule of law and of uh, human rights and liberties. Can you describe a little bit about the conditions, what they're like for migrants detained in prison? Well, well it's a variety, but the, the Human Rights Watch and Amnesty have documented very carefully that you've had People, sometimes they're in solitary confinement. They're subject to many of the same rules of incarceration. They're in an association with people who are there for criminal reasons. These are not criminals. And as much as some of our federal ministers are saying uh, they're potential terrorists, there's no evidence of that. And if there is, there is certainly ways of targeting it without sort of uh, making blanket judgments. Uh, uh, one of the real problems here is that the uh, border agency is, uh, is acting a little bit like a rogue. It, it has no oversight. So these discussion, decisions about uh, what to do with those who are applying for refugee status or uh, asylum uh, are determined by somebody at the border. Uh, oftentimes they've got feelings that maybe they not, may be at risk of not uh, coming back for their hearings. That's no reason to put somebody in a jail. And I think uh, many of them actually have certain mental health issues, the Minister of Immigration recognizes that is the solution to go to jail. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, that's hardly what you call a therapeutic uh, situation. I want to talk about a solution because this past March, Newfoundland and Labrador became the 10th province to announce it would stop right. detaining migrants in provincial jails. The Canada Border Services Agency detained 5,000 248 foreign nationals. This is from 2022-2023, and 16% mm -hmm. of those people were detained in provincial facilities. We're talking about 839 people or so. How should That's the right. federal government respond rather than use detention in federal facilities? Well, I think first, uh, it, it has to provide an oversight to these decisions. This is the only law enforcement agency in Canada that doesn't have uh, some accountability established for it. And secondly, to change the policy so that uh, people are not incarcerated, but are working with community refugee settlement organizations to provide uh, a proper safe environment which can be monitored and, and that the certain rules can be established but there is uh, every reason uh, the, the government established 300 million dollars to improve uh, its uh, holding centers well uh, one of us some family should be going in to make sure that they, uh, these are uh, sort of uh, proper uh, secure environments but not sort of subject to the the, the rigors of a, of a jail sentence, mm -hmm. uh, and because I think we've, we, we've had people die in de de detention. Mm -hmm. 17 deaths have been recorded. And the coroner's report out of Toronto uh, two years ago said, you have to stop this incarceration and jailing of people seeking asylum. Mr. Axworthy, the immigration minister, Mark Miller, has said that detention is only used for, quote, high-risk detainees with severe mental health problems. What kind of history do these facilities have? You spoke a little bit about that with safely housing people. Well, I, I think it is very good. I mean, we, we're we in touch with a number of the settlement organizations across Canada, and they do the kind of yeoman service. They really are very highly focused on people seeking uh, to, proper settlement with the proper kind of treatments, the proper kind of therapy. And we've had a long history in this country of managing 
that we're very well on our sponsorship programs and others. But it seems the border agency has taken uh, its own pathway and it's uh, been totally immune to any efforts to correct or, or, or mitigate the circumstances. It's kind of, you know, damn to be used, all speed ahead. So I, I think the, the border agency has to be brought in uh, and corralled. We've made, we've made cases uh, to a couple of ministers pointing this out. And, and sometimes we see sympathetic hearings, but nothing's been done, and the and the practice continues. And, and and I guess the point that really rubs rubs me raw and it rubs so many people sort of ir unbelievable is that once the provinces have recognized there's a human rights issue at stake, uh, the federal government goes and says, well, we'll use our penitentiaries to continue the practice of incarceration of people seeking asylum. Makes no sense. Lloyd Axworthy, we appreciate your time and your thoughts this morning. Thank you. Thank you for having me. In response to our request for comment, a CBSA spokesperson said this, quote, the safety and security of Canadians and the well-being of detainees are top priorities for the Canada Border Services Agency. The CBSA uses immigration detention as a measure of last resort, only after all suitable alternatives to detention have been considered and consistent with the Immigration and Refugee Protection Act. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.